<sighs> Hello everyone, I'm jcrazy 14 and I'm here for another Monster Hunter Generations Monster Showcase and today's monster is Kezu. Yep, that guy's back. And obviously he's a three star village monster but also a one star in the hub. But more importantly, he's also an important quest for the uh, uh, Hoki Village. It's the only way that, uh, that I know to unlock him. But he's important for game, for unlocking one of the Faded Four. So let's go find him. If my memory he starts in six, seven, or eight, didn't see him in six. There's seven, so it's obviously eight. Uh, but if I heard him come to seven, so I'm gonna check there. No, I did not hear him come to seven. This is one of those cases where I wish I had psycho serums or brought them. There's Kazu in six. Yeah, I'm obviously using the Iodrome Sword and Shield so I can get some poison off. Yeah, this guy's susceptible to poison, of course. And the unique thing about him is he does not have any fee music at all. Better get close because I just managed to get mounted on him from an electrical attack, so <laughs> that's pretty unique. Yeah, he has the same attacks as before. His, his triple electric attack that seems to have a shorter range than it did in Free You. No wait, not Free You. Free Unite and For You. Look at me, I'm mixing two, two games into one game. Which is what Generations kind of does. It misses several games. Ooh, that was a bad idea. And I paid the price for it. I'm going to have to sharpen real quick. That's the bad thing about this sword and shield right now. You can see the range is much shorter than it was before. Poison worn off. And this one would have to start using my first aid meds. There we go. I probably had that sword dance going, but I didn't. Yeah, if you didn't notice, that elect the electrical tests look a lot prettier than they do in For You. So, so I gotta get some credit to Capcom for some of the graphical improvements. And there's that Okazo Roar. And there's his electrical charge attack. I say a charge because he covers himself in electricity and charges himself. Well, charges himself at you. And there's our second mount. Let's finish this one off and we'll get the sub. 
Right at Kazoo. And there's our sub. And I got another poison off. So if I could... Whoa. Got um, aerial knot. <laughs> nah. Yeah. That, and now Kaz is going to run away. So I'm going to take this opportunity to sharpen. <laughs> and get rid of this Thunder Blight. Because if I keep taking hits... Uh, hmm. He's going to... What? One? He must be really tired. This... Oh. Screw up. But this might be quicker than going 5, 4, 1. I doubt it, but it might. Look at that long fall and... It's like nothing to the hunter. Showing you how video games in real life are mutually exclusive. And don't have a lot in common. I fall that far and we be dead. Oh man, here comes the tri -thunder. I'm just going to call it tri -thunder. Oh, look how pretty that electrical attack is that I got, just got hit with and thunder blinded with. And I managed to flinch him out <laughs> somehow. And I better get my. Ooh. And I got another chance at a sword dance. Well, I don't need to warm me a fed as long as I'm out here where it's warm. And toasty, and looks like I got third poison off, and looks like I'm going to be paralyzed for my efforts. And I might be toast too. No. I got to get out of there and heal up. I would have been toast otherwise. And a potion for good measure. And a sharpen for good measure. But uh, is that Kazu going to fly away or nope. Doesn't look like it yet. It's very rare for him to go to area one. So Ooh look at that pretty electric those pretty electrical attacks. Oh. And there I go again. Better get out of the way that one now. Of course, he has to brace the face and the body. Ah, oh, just avoided that one. Can't tell if he's weakened or not, but and I just took another electrical shock. Better get out here now. Another tri thunder. 
maybe I should call it Triple Thunder. Because Tri Thunder, if I remember right, is Bolt Kraken or or Squid Adler's special ability. Depending on which version of Mega Man X5 you play. Ah, uh, I should probably give up on on trying to do aerial for the moment. Because it seems like every time I do, I, I get electrocuted. <sighs> and now Kez is going to fly away. Fly away. Take this opportunity to sharpen. He's going to three. I'm bang. He's weakened. Because otherwise, why would he go with her? Yeah, it's a longer episode, but what do you expect? It's Kazu. I'm using a weaker than usual sword and shield that I'm using solely for the purposes of poisoning Kazu. I might as well use this so I can get some code in there. Oh! Went too far. Uh, watch for the electrical attack. Yeah. I finally oh and I still get hit regardless. Huh, I just avoided that triple thunder. If I get a third mount I'll know I'm close. Uh, looks like I'm close enough anyway because I got a fourth poison and a third mount. Yeah, he's very angry if he's chaining his things together and not in a position to wear out. Poison worn off. A bit quicker than I wanted it to. But it looks like that jump flinched him out. I got sharpened real badly because this thing's uh, in orange. And I'm going to get paralyzed for it. So come on. And Kezu's weakened. If only those boomerangs could knock him down. Now I gotta guess where he's going. Looks like six. I should have painted him when I had a chance by five, I would have gotten him. Hmm. Man, it's so hot. I feel like there's sweat in my eyes. There's Kazu. And he certainly overcharged. Just in case. Man, he's really angry. And a little jump attack to finish him off. Makes this a good run for this one. 
So let me get my parts. Pill extract, that's pretty good and very useful. Probably one electro set. Those two things are probably the only reason I would ever hunt Keizu. But that'll do it for this episode. I'm JCrazy614. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and adios.